Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Yes, we back with another one. Listen, Drake World about to get into one. Drake reacts. We want to look at all the new guns from John Wick 4. If you haven't seen Accuracy with firearms, Wick has become a legend in the movie industry. And now, Keanu Reeves is back, and the trailer for John Wick 4 looks amazing. Let's take a look at the guns we spotted in the trailer and the leaked ones that will be featured in the movie. TTI, JW4, Dracaris, Gen 12 Shotgun, MSRP, $4,599. In what might possibly be the final chapter of the Ultimate Assassin's Saga, the Baba Yaga finds himself completely outnumbered in the need of the ultimate closed quarters battle weapon. No magazine fed shotgun in history has been as reliable, ruggedly built, and it's versatile tough. as the TTI Dracaris Gen 12. Ooh. The last place you want to be is in the shadow. Bro, look at that thing go. That was crazy. Gen look at that. Fire-breathing beast who leaves nothing but scorched earth in its wake. The TTI JW4 Jakaris Gen 12 shotgun is a short barrel semi-auto shotgun that the manufacturer claims is the fastest cycling shotgun out there. But this one might be faster. That's because this is a Terran Tactical Innovations modified AR style shotgun with per Terran Tactical. That's exactly why that price tag is what it is, dude. Those guys are charging an arm and a leg for anything that they trust and believe. I think a couple of the guns. I think a couple of the guns in this movie. Sorry, I dropped my hand, <laughs> dropped my schmook. I think a couple of the guns in this movie are Terran Tactical. Performance parts. In Wick's hands, this is a sweet 12 gauge shotgun. Now, we don't want to say we told you so, but we did call out the Benelli shotguns in the third chapter along with some other weapon choices. We found a mag-fed shotgun made a damn sight more sense than quad-loading a custom Benelli M2, which was cool and yet contrived. A 9mm rifle against body armor too seemed like the dumbest choice in the armory. And Wick doesn't do dumb choices, except for maybe blowing Santino down to- Damn, that was a call out. A 9mm. A 9mm in in the other movie in week three i guess armored uh armored uh, uh you know armored assailants armored enemies and shit they just really called about that is not what you would use he should have probably went five seven especially in the handgun especially in the handgun but i mean he it's john wick it's john wick he knows better than me ultimate closed quarters battle weapon no magazine-fed shotgun in history has been as reliable, ruggedly built as a short barrel semi-auto shotguns in the third chapter, along with against body armor too, seemed like the dumbest choice in the armory. And Wick doesn't do dumb choices, <laughs> except for maybe blowing Santino to Antonio's brains out on company grounds. That was a questionable judgment call. The semi-automatic TTI is exactly the kind of shotgun we think the gun Fu action hero would carry. It's high tech, reloads in a second, and is absolutely Dude, devastating. Look at that thing. Big, bold, robust, that kind of stuff. With its massive load capacity, the 12 gauge round is easily one of the most versatile cartridges commonly available. We've seen a thousand rounds go through a suppressed 7 inch version of the Gen 12 without issue. The cost might Sheesh. be a drawback, but it's also the nature of innovative products. The JW4 Dracaris is expensive. But you can get a very similar effect with a Kalashnikov Comrade, and you'll find that on our take of the best AK-style tactical shotguns. Atlas Nemesis V2 MSRP $5,900 As you observe John Wick's firearm choices oh throughout the films, God, dude. you can discern- If you observe John Wick's firearm choices throughout all these movies, they're fucking expensive outside of the Glocks a noticeable trend where John Wick gradually starts using better and better pistols. In the beginning, he favored striker-fired polymer guns made by Glock and HK. However, in the most recent installment, he upgraded to a semi-custom 2011 pistol. Some enthusiasts argue that it's high time for John to switch to a fully custom-built 2011. For those unfamiliar with Atlas Gunworks, they are a relatively new company that specializes in crafting custom 2011 pistols. These firearms have gained a dedicated following within the competition shooting community. Facts, not just the competition shooting community, just general gun interest. Those things are beautiful, and I definitely am thinking about me. 
due to their exceptional performance. Among them, the Nemesis model stands out for its unique features, such as the Sight Tracker. This pistol, available in both 9mm and 40 Smith & Wesson, features a stationary front sight that sits on a block while the slide cycles behind it. This design improves sight tracking and distributes weight to reduce recoil. However, it comes at a high cost. With the basic Nemesis V2 starting at $5,900 and climbing higher, acquiring one of these pistols would require more than a few gold coins from John Wick. John Wick 4 Belt Fed Machine Gun SIG MG338 Frankly, I'm surprised that John hasn't used a belt fed machine gun yet. Sure. Fact, I don't remember him using one at all in any of the other ones, and I, I can't remember when he used it in even this movie, I gotta see. HK416 he used in the first film was full auto, but that's not a machine gun, that's an assault rifle. This is used toward the end of the movie, where the bad- I, I, We're not gonna get into it. Ask the ACF what it is. Guys are massing on him, and John has- Anything that goes- to make some desperate moves to stay alive. The MG338 is Sig Sauer's submission for a SOCOM request for a next generation machine gun. It weighs around 20 pounds, is suppressed, and is chambered in 338 Norma Magnum. I can certainly tell you that JW won't be caught dead walking around with a 40 pound M240G. How pedestrian. This machine gun was designed to have the form factor of a medium machine gun with most of the capability of a heavy machine gun in 50 caliber. TTI JW4 Pit Viper MSRP There's that thing right there. Oh my god, that thing is beautiful. Oh, that thing is beautiful. $7,000. It's expensive and that's exactly why I won't have one the until they make a cheap one. TTI JW4 Pit Viper is a bespoke 2011 with a mind-blowing price tag that takes over from the Terran right. Tactical Innovations STI 2011 Combat Master that found fame in the Continental Shootout in John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. At its core, this is a competition shooting specialist, and it took the 2021 USPSA Two-Gun National title under an assumed name during the testing phase. It might be the ultimate 2011, and probably should be at this price. Features include a DLC coated match grade barrel, single port compensator, a massive enlarged and flared ejection port sand that viper on there. an open slide, and an Aftec extractor. Aggressive the wraparound stippling. There. I don't a know if the assumed name is what they mean by the sand viper being the assumed name, and then it officially dropped under the pit viper, or if they're two different guns. I thought they'd be two different guns. With a guns. seamlessly blended grip safety and a built in bladed standoff. An extreme engineering fire control unit includes a light speed hammer, ultra low mass sear, titanium hammer strut, and match disconnector. There's an accessory rail underneath for weapon lights. And TTI says this isn't just a competition shooting pistol, it's a battle pistol worthy of the gun fu action hero himself. Another unique feature of this double stack 2011 is the grip safety. We've never seen a smaller one. Terran intentionally ground down the memory groove hump because he never liked how it felt in his hand. Our favorite unique feature has got to be the bladed standoff fangs on this gun. When the gun runs dry and locks back on the empty mag, the front of the frame reveals fang-like features that can be used as an impact weapon. Believe us, they are really sharp. We can't wait an impact weapon on the empty mag, the front of the frame reveals fang-like features that can be used as an impact weapon. Believe us. They are really sharp. We can't wait to see how John Wick uses them. Glocks. And he definitely uses them. 17. MSRP. Big Glocky, you know what I'm saying? Keep it, you know what I'm keep it, keep it at OG. That's what I like to see, John. $630. Something affordable. There are sexier Glocks in the John Wick movies. Much sexier. But the Glock 17 that makes multiple appearances is one of the more affordable options. I prefer the 19. And it is mighty effective. In the second movie, Wick rocked a pair of Terran tactical tuned Glocks that cost thousands of dollars more. 
but if you don't the have Glock to worry about and the Glock 19 Combat Master concealing it in the last two movies. So look 17. out for a heavily tuned Glock Shit, in the upcoming well movie. Go 18. But this stock Glock is a great service pistol, home defense option, and also one of the best Glocks for sale in 2023. Glock 17 delivers a reliable and fairly ergonomic full-size 9mm pistol in a very affordable package. Plus, the wide range of aftermarket parts and accessories available allow you to customize your G17 to exactly what you want. That's it guys, we've covered all the guns that I would love to see Wick use in Chapter 4. Hey man. That's every single one. If you have not seen John Wick 4, go ahead and make sure you go see that movie. That thing was amazing. It's dope. I don't want to spoil anything. I think there was enough little seeds in this that, that might have spoiled some stuff for you guys or gave you at least some heads up as to what's going on in the movie. All these guns are dope. Let me know which one of you guys most excited to see in action in the movie. Or if you've already seen it, what was your favorite gun that you saw in the movie? I, I mean, obviously, I'm going to be honest with you. Mine was the Pit Viper. Definitely the Pit Viper. Uh especially the way he got to use it as they kind of alluded to here you know what i'm saying with those super sharp spikes on the front like it that and the shotgun I'm not gonna lie and you can never go wrong with the glock but definitely the pit viper and the shotgun those were two amazing weapons out of this beautiful beautiful tear and tactical did their thing with those but anyway you guys like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one we out of here man welcome to drank world sweatshirts all gear in the uh, all gear in the description go ahead click that link support your boy i'm out of here peace Put your trust in me, you was in love with me. Wanna fuck with me now? Packy out strokes, knocking her down. Use a house in the back of her mouth. Could it smash her then I'm smashing her now? Could it have her then I can't have her now? Yeah, cause I'm having way too much. And that bitch made me way too much. Yeah. And this shit way, way